Hey everybody, Jeff here. How's everybody doing today? It is Sunday. It is the 23rd of August, 2020. And I hope each and every one of you are having an outstanding Sunday. I wanted to call and let every one of you know that you matter, that you're important, and how you're going to start the day for tomorrow. The problem is you should be already worried about tomorrow, what's going to happen. I want you to know this. I want you to go in tomorrow, no matter what is going on right now. And I want you, for maybe the first time in your life, to be grateful for Monday, to be glad Monday is finally here. You see, we get so much in our bubbles and our circles and we get so much in our little squares that we only look forward to like three days out of the week. But did you know there's seven days out of the week that each one of them is a miracle, each one is awesome, each one is great. But it is up to you on how you go about, you know, handling the day or handling the day before to create this coming week a positive week it doesn't matter your situation tomorrow has not happened yet and i know like some of you might be going to court or some of you might be nervous you got kids going to school you've got work getting maybe you got a project maybe you're looking for a job maybe you're going out and starting your sales maybe you're not making your quotas right now maybe you're trying to open up a business on your own getting a home loan maybe you're basically losing a loved one due to cancer maybe something's going on to where you're looking at tomorrow like as in i can't take it but you can you can take it tomorrow is a blessing for each and every one of you tomorrow is a blessing that you can make it no matter what goes on in life no matter what you say no matter what you do you will make it tomorrow is just a day of the week that is made for you created by you and you're gonna get in there and do it tomorrow I'm gonna get on here and give you your motivation and it's already gonna be going into Tuesday Tuesday I'm gonna get on here and it's already gonna be going on the Wednesday Wednesday Thursday Thursday to Friday Friday to Saturday, everybody's going to be happy. Then all of a sudden, you go out and you get drunk and you forget about it. Or you go out and you do something. When every day can be great, you just have to find the greatness in it. It doesn't matter. Everything all day long for 23 hours and 59 minutes go wrong. That one minute of the day can make your entire day be better. What I want you to do is I want you to know you mattered first off, okay? I want you to know that you are important, okay? I want you to know, I'm going to switch this around. I want you to know that every day you're on this planet is a blessing to each and every one of us. I may not know your strengths yet. I may not know what you have in store for today or tomorrow. I may not know even your last name or in some cases your first name, but I know this. Each one of us has an opportunity to make tomorrow great. Each and every one of us has the opportunity to make today great. Tonight before you go to bed, and I say this because we lost some more people over the weekend, and there weren't people I knew, but they asked me to pray for them, and I am. But remember this. Give your kids a hug. It doesn't matter if they're embarrassed or not. Give them a hug. Tell them you love them. Give your husband or wife a hug and kiss. Call up your girlfriend or boyfriend. Tell them you care about them. Tell them they matter. Somebody today needs to hear you tell them that they matter, and that's going to make all the difference in somebody's life, is that you told them that they matter. And when they matter, tomorrow's gonna be important to them. Why? Because today you told them they mattered. That means they have to improve tomorrow. That means they've gotta be great tomorrow. Why? Because you mattered. They mattered to you today. Call up your friends, call up your family. Start learning to forgive because if you don't, all there's gonna be in your life is hate, 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 and the days are not gonna be good. If you learn to forgive yourself and learn to forgive others, and you learn to go out there and give it your all no matter what it is, you can go to bed at the end of the night, go to bed sleeping that you did everything you could instead of worrying about I coulda, shoulda, woulda, but I didn't. Tonight, you matter. I want you to know that. For all my devil dogs out there, for all those Marines out there, by the way, Marines and devil dog, that's a word. So people that got mad at me for saying devil dog, Tuval Hundred, Semper Fidelis, all these other words, they're Marine Corps terms. I'm military, so I say terms in the Marine Corps. But e this goes to everybody, not just the military. Each and every one of you need to be faithful to yourself. Each and every one of, me, one of you need to be true to yourself. Show your kids by example. Lead by example. You're great. Who you are is great. What you do is great. Don't give up. If you're going to go out and start lifting weights, then go lift weights. You're going to start running, go run. Makes me think of my friend Paula Shelley who always said, Jeff, when I get a chance, I'm going to go run. Was it two years now? She went in the doctor's office and never came out. She died of heart failure. 
the person with the biggest heart I knew died of heart failure. And she's the one that would always tell me, no matter what went on, she'd always tell me, Jeff, I'm going to go run with you. Jeff, let's go walking together. She was married. She had a great family. She's got great friends. And we all, she was a graduate with us. And she was always positive, no matter what. And her demon happened to be her heart was too big. Because her smile and her heart both matched. So, you know, my friend Jeremy Fletcher, who died years ago, you know, people that we imagine, we don't have here today. So make sure you tell people they matter. The person that died from Warsaw yesterday, I'm not going to say anybody's names because I don't know who I'm allowed to say, but, you know, we need to remember that how great they are, how special they are, how we got truckers that are heroes on the road right now. Truck drivers are on the road as heroes who could get in a wreck at any minute. We learned a week and a half ago how fast life can be taken from us when the three kids died and the adult because somebody decided that it was more important to drink and drive and speed and run a red light than it was to basically use common sense and get a designated driver but instead they killed three children right here in my hometown and it's devastating a community. But now we can be better than that by learning because that was a mistake that somebody made. That person will be facing criminal punishment, that's fine. But you know what, that's not us. Today we need to make sure the people around us know we love them, we know they care. Because life, a person can have a stroke, a heart attack. You know, maybe somebody's got Alzheimer's, dementia. You know, maybe somebody out there is gonna be suicidal or something. I do this because of suicide, you guys know that, but guess what? That doesn't mean we can't tell the person next to us that they matter and that they are important. And every day they're on this earth makes me and you a better person because of them, because of you, because of her, because of him, because of who people are is what makes us great. Not for their complaints, not for their negativity. Go where you're celebrated, not tolerated. And know as I shut this down for today, you matter and you are important. I'm Jeffrey Jansen. You're important. I love you. Have a great day. Let's get tomorrow started great because it's Monday and I love Mondays. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.